Hello and welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Justin Riley. And I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And we have a great show for you today, don't we, Justin? We always do, but this is a really excellent show. We're here on location at True Laser in Madison. Yes, and here's a fact for you. Did you know that winter is the time to get your hair removal? I did not know that. Yes. Yeah, so I didn't know there was a specific time that's better than others. Well, it's more popular in the summer, but during right. the winter is actually the best time to do it, and we're going to learn a little bit why. There's a reason. There's some science behind it. Yeah, you'd think that summer would be the more popular time, but it's actually not the best time. No, nope, really this cool. is the time, and they've got some great specials. We'll learn about that. Speaking of learning, we are going to be chatting with uh, Miss Bonnie, one of our favorites, over at the Learning Shop. And yeah. I think she's got some special things to show off. She typically brings us some really neat toys. Yes. That being said, today we're going to learn about some sensory objects. Yes. Everything that she's bringing is very tactile. It is, it's yeah. Just, it's something that you need to hold in your hands to get the full So experience. this is great not only for kids, but actually for people who are having any trouble concentrating and uh, even some dementia patients. So yeah, learn about that. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting stuff. Well, we also caught up with Chris Martingilio from Martingilio Martial Arts, and he talked to us a little bit about how self-defense is something that anybody can do yeah. and that it's not necessarily something that has to look impressive, it just has to be you know, what gets the job done. He's going to give us some key moves that uh, I think you'll find really important to know, so I look yeah. forward to that. That's actually going to be next, right after the break. It's all right here on Wisconsin Family, so stick around. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are all sitting here at the fabulous Aglo Spa and Salon. We're down in Janesville having a good old time today. We're going to talk about manicures and pedicures later. We are, and massage, which is You're actually... You're sticking around for that, right, Chris? Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll get you a mani-pedi. Yes, no, but a massage is an important topic. We're going yeah, to cover absolutely. that a little bit later. If you've been wondering about martial arts, we've got just the guy to talk to you. Chris Martingilio from Martingilio Martial Arts joins us today, and we're so glad to have you back. How Thank are you? you? I'm good. Thank you. So we're going to talk a little bit about black belt testing today. Yes. Now, this is a topic I'm excited to learn about. I don't know much about the, the process of testing for any color belt, black belt, uh, you know, obviously being a big one, an important yeah, one. So tell important. us about it. Uh, black belt testing is huge. Um, we've got years and years of training that people have had uh, that they've stacked up uh, a lot of information and now it comes time to how do we put them into a level of stress that they can actually perform it and uh, we can't jump them in the parking lot to see if their skill set works. <laughs> so, you might get some phone calls. Right, you yeah, might you get some phone calls. So, um, so the, the stress threshold's got to be raised up and so uh, by having a board exam we can provide that kind of stress for them and we get to see where their skills are at. Interesting. And that's so and that's so interesting that I mean you're you're pretty unapologetic about saying, yeah, this is a stressful situation, but mm -hmm. that's kind of part of the whole the whole test itself. It is right. part of the whole yeah. test itself, that's absolutely. The training. Without without trust, uh, testing that stress, um, we, we can't control our environment when we're getting attacked. Right. Excuse me, stop for a second. Yeah. I am going right. to uh, need yeah. to think about which <laughs> technique to do right. and then go. It yeah. can't be that Could way. Could you stab me like this instead of like this? Right. It's a family so, show. <laughs> right. These are things that we, we see in the here. movies, but it's, right. not, it, it's just not right. the way it actually is for real. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Interesting things to think about. So typically, how long have students been training uh, prior to being tested for their black belt? Uh, the, the coolest group of uh, people that were working with are the kids that have started at four and now I've got them at 12 and they're testing for their junior wow. black belts. Wow, 12 year old kids. Right. Now, we do not endorse having kids have black belts sooner than 15, mm -hmm. but this junior black belt status is giving them age appropriate material with the full amount of material that they have to learn, still the same as the adults, right. but we give them age appropriate information. And then they have to be able to not only demonstrate the physical part of that information, mm -hmm. but talk about uh, pressure points, uh, mm -hmm. talk about uh, how to do a finger lock. They have to be able to right. demonstrate basic principles. Right. But we don't have trained killers yet at this age. 
Good. Clearly, right, because they right. have to, it has to be age-appropriate material. Right. Wow. Yeah. And I remember you saying uh, on another time we've talked to you that it has to be things that people of any age and skill level can right. do, or any right. any size and sort of build can do. Right. So I imagine that applies to the kiddos. Too. It does. It, it, they have to be able to deal with adult uh, attackers. Right. And right. So we have to. That's again age appropriate. Now I, I have adults that have been training for you know three five years that are brand new, never done martial arts before, that might be starting to look at that first degree black belt. Mm -hmm. But then we've also got people that have come from other systems that have got ten years of training yeah. oh. that are now coming in to do their first test. But there's black belt testing all the way to tenth degree black belt. Yeah. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Yeah, I just figured if you were a black belt, that was it. That was the max. There's, There's a whole 10 level. degrees of black belts. That, I know that. that. That's about anywhere. Um, the first degree black belt's about three to five years of training. Mm -hmm. When you're starting to look at 10th degree black belt, you've been doing it over 50 years. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Imagine the skills and the, just the discipline it takes to get to that place. Absolutely. And there's really no shortcuts impressive. there, I imagine. There's yeah. no shortcuts. Not at all. So now let's talk a little bit, going to the testing again. Uh, what is the testing? Are you doing it? Or how, who is doing this No, we testing? actually have a board. So I have uh, students of mine that are, uh, especially the, like the teenagers, they will start to test the younger kids. Okay. Um, and then that, that keeps on pyramiding down. So my students that are third degree, second degrees, they'll help test the first degrees. Okay. But then oh. I have to keep me honest I have pulled in a board of my peers that all train with my instructor, sure. so it keeps it keeps us all honest, so that sure. we're doing a collective testing, not just I really want you to pass, so right. I'm going to pass you. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting, and I'm sure that people can interpret. I mean, it's it's not a, a standardized test where you're filling in no. bubbles, so you, right. there's interpretations there. Individual sizes and differences that sure. we have to accommodate, absolutely. So. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things that come into play when we're watching this, but a, a varied a, a group of opinions on how that actually should uh, pan right. out in the end is, is important. And now, um, just uh, real quick before we go, I'm just curious to know, do, I mean, do you have students that sometimes don't pass? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Really? We have got a couple of individuals, a, a district attorney from uh, Chippewa Falls, he's tested three times and it, he just keeps coming back. He's learning more probably than the guy that passed. Sure. Aww. And we have we have a saying: if you pass the test, more work. If you fail the test, more, more work. work. So either way, you've signed yourself up for more work. No, I love it. Right. But it's it's yeah. fun work. It's a great way to give some kids all the way up through any age some great life skills, but right. also a nice discipline and some accountability in the end. I enjoy it. A lot that. of work. Yeah. Well, Chris, always a pleasure to chat with you. Thanks so much for Thanks. joining us once again. It goes so fast. But yeah, just, that's yeah. it. We're going to be back in just a little bit talking about paintball. We're here at a glow spa and salon. Check out Martin Gilio Martial Arts, and we'll be back with more Wisconsin Family. We're crystal clear. God, no. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are still seated here at True Laser and we are at the Madison location today. We're going to be talking to the owner and one of their specialists a little bit later in the show. You don't want to miss that. Some very informative stuff. Very good specials coming up this, yes. uh, this season as well. Yes, looking forward to that. We are also going to be chatting with Miss Bonnie Pearson. You may recognize her from the Learning Shop and we are always pleased to chat with you. How are you today? I'm fabulous. It's nice to be back. Nice to have you. So this is a great topic because you are always enlightening us with some of the wonderful games that are out there for children and for families and learning as it yes. is in the title which mm -hmm. is wonderful but you brought something a little bit different today so kind of share with us what is here I did today I brought um, some things from our sensory solutions section um, sensory solutions was brought about by one of the gals on my staff Sandy Gromaki she is a special needs teacher and she um, saw a need for some of these things, and so we started Sensory Solutions, and since that time, it has grown quite large. Excellent, cool. yeah. Cool. 
lots of different stuff here and I, I remember when I was teaching there were a lot of students who kind of needed that they needed something to be able to fidget with in order to pay attention right, right. So. I feel right. like I could fit into that category yeah. this <laughs> mouse and the cheese is really catching my attention and it feels really cool yes yeah. and that's you know and that's the purpose of these so there are I brought quite a few fidgets um, as yeah. you mentioned Justin yep. mm -hmm. this is the blob frog you know it's a little uh, yeah. squeezy frog I don't know if you want to try yeah. that out um, there Perfect. is uh, the Ziggy Pasta. Again, it's just kind of something kids can play with without How getting too distracted, that? but yeah. keeping Ooh. their hands busy. Yeah. That is, you don't realize how interesting it's going to feel until you pick right. it up. Like, it almost feels like Silly Putty or Play-Doh. I feel like yes. this should like, become one noodle like, effort. Right, so right, like it's going to fuse together. Well, <laughs> since you brought up Silly Putty, then I'll bring up Erin's Thinking Putty. This has been very popular um, in the store. Now, this one is a super illusion, so it gives you the illusion mm -hmm. of a, an oil slick. Oh, that's cool. Yes, but it's it very, it's a, just a small little compact tin. You can throw it in a purse if the kids get fidgety. I use this when I go to tennis meets and I get too nervous. That is so interesting. <laughs> but it comes in, it comes it in feels large like too. Putty. This is a magnetic and oh, this wow. is a, it's called liquid glass. So it is clear. It gives you the illusion of glass. Wow. So this has been very popular um, with with the kids and teachers are sending the parents to the store for the putty. Sure. Cool. Like I said, it's small enough that you can throw in a bag mm -hmm. if you're at the restaurant or you know you're watching yeah. a soccer game and the kids are getting fidgety. Here's yeah. some putty. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I'm right. kind of seeing on the back of the boxes there's all these different yes. colors and right. Voices. And they all do different things. Some are heat activated, so okay. as you play it changes colors. Oh, the super nice. illusions give you the illusion that is um, the oil slick. There's a lava, super lava. So they all do a little bit different, and that makes them really cool. It you know? does yeah. make them that's cool. That's like cool. the stuff we had as kids years ago, like the color-changing shirts. and. Right. Remember how cool that was? I, don't, I never had any of that stuff, so this is way cooler than the <laughs> stuff I had as kids. So. I did bring this along, too. This is an Isoflex ball. It's like a balloon filled with sand. And, um, you know, we think of these mm -hmm. things for children, but actually people who um, have uh, very weak fine motor skills can use these. When my dad had a stroke, I bought him one of these okay. and he had to strengthen the dexterity in his fingers. Uh -huh. And he used it until the balloon broke. Oh wow. So <laughs> again, it's very, it's not just for kids. Right. Yeah, and there's a study I think that shows, I remember reading years ago, but I'm sure it still applies, that uh, when you're actually, when you're doing something sort of basic like this, it, it actually improves your ability to pay attention. Kids and adults. Right. Right, yeah, So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. kids in class that are doing something right. sort of fidgety or even doodling or those right. types of activities are actually helping a lot of people concentrate on the exactly. subject matter. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and that's and why that's the teachers point. are sending the parents into the store to find these little fidgets because that's mm -hmm. exactly what they do. That's great. Mm -hmm. I love so it. tell us a little bit about um, this uh, uh, time timer plus mm -hmm. and then you've got uh, you've got this thing over here. Tell us a little bit about these items. All right this these items were mm -hmm. tactile. Sure yep. This is going to be more visual. This uh -huh. is a visual timer, the time timer. So okay. what you're doing is if you've got that child who says when are we going to the store? Okay, five <laughs> minutes. Well, great, what's five minutes? Right. So you can set it four or five, I actually have this one set for 10, and then when you turn it on, visually they can see when that time has okay. elapsed. So as, as the time goes by, this actually has this, it's going to go back and there's no red. Oh, so the red slowly disappears. Yes. And That's so cool. then they can see, oh, I have, there's still red on the clock. I still have to wait before we go to grandma's or whatever. Right. So it's, again, it's a visual thing. They don't have to keep bugging you. Mom, how many more right. minutes? Time is it? Right. Look at right. your visual clock. Is the red <laughs> gone? No. All right. When the red's gone, we right. go to the store. And so right. it comes in a variety of sizes. This is yeah. the small, this is the large. And then the bubble motion tumbler. It isn't necessarily a timer, but it's a visual. When the, you tip it over, you can kind of watch the dots going on. It's a yeah. calming effect. Yeah. So if you have someone in the classroom who's, oh, you know, and the fidgets aren't working, yeah. you can hand them the, the tumbler. They can go sit down. Just kind of calmly watch those little bubbles yeah. go down. And then when they're to the point they need to be, they can come back to That's class feeling refreshed and... We're That's ready very to go. cool. I'm, I'm feeling yeah. calmed right now looking at that. I know. There's so much here. We didn't even get to all of it because we yeah. have some great books. We'll have to talk about that next time. But this is Bonnie from The Learning Shop. All kinds of great ideas for kiddos and adults yeah, alike. Absolutely. So thanks a bunch. We You're appreciate welcome. it. After the break, as promised, we're going to be chatting with the folks from True Laser here in Madison. So stick around.
Hello and welcome back to Wisconsin Family. Here we are at True Laser in Madison. This is the segment we've all been waiting for because yes. we're going to yeah. talk to a couple of folks from True Laser. I'm joined now by Brittany Davis and co-founder Christy Newell. How are you guys? Doing Good. fine. How Good. are you? Thanks Excellent. for having us. We love yeah. being here. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So now, the, I, I love coming here because I always learn something new. I mean, this is not something, a, a topic that men typically are uh, well educated on. Mm -hmm. And so I always right. learn something new here. And what I'd like to know is, you know, it just, it seems to me that in the winter time, as it starts getting colder, you see more and more skin issues coming forward. What are some of the different challenges with skin? Uh, and what are some of the popular products that you can offer and services that you can offer to kind of help with some of those challenges? Mm -hmm. um, so our skin isn't necessarily made for this cold winter weather even though we have been spoiled this year with yes, a nice a winter yeah. um, so you can pretty much completely avoid the dry skin and other irritations by microdermabrasion as well as um, our pharmaceutical grade um, moisturizers which we have okay. a couple up here okay. um, so exfoliating is really good as well um, our baby foot um, so that is a peel for your feet, which is really nice. We have a lot of clients who um, are purchasing it for Christmas gifts as well. So that's oh, a great yeah. idea. Great little um, stocking stuffer. Yeah. yeah. And easy to wrap. You know, I like that. It, right. <laughs> and it's appropriate because no, it's, it's for the feet. Yeah. Stocking stuffer. Ah, yes. oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. We needed a little pun action in there, yes. yes. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, let's turn a little bit. So these are some great uh, skin gift ideas, and mm -hmm. we are starting to get that colder weather now, mm -hmm. yeah. unfortunately, okay. so we need these even more. Uh, let's talk, turn our attention a little bit with the winter season to the actual laser hair removal. Mm -hmm. So this process is something that um, you know people can do year-round. But I think most people think of it more in the summer when you're out in the sun. Yeah. But are there some advantages to actually getting in here in the winter time? Mm -hmm. um, so in the summer, a lot of people are out in the sun. Obviously, their mm -hmm. skin is getting tan. Um, and we do have lasers that still um, allow us to safely do laser hair removal in the summer. Um, but as far as results and safety goes, um, it is nice to get it done during the winter when um, your melanin isn't so active. So this is actually the better time. Yes. Even though mm -hmm. it yes. typically is probably busier in the summer, I would guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the time to do it. Uh, because you need to do you need to stay out of the sun a little bit or it's mm -hmm. that activity of yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's going to be bothersome. Okay, so do oh. it in the winter and be prepared for the summer. See, yeah, I just exactly. learned that now. I never, I never would have thought <laughs> yes. that. And uh, you guys are running something I just want to mention because I think it's a really good deal if you've been thinking about having doing hair remo removal or any of the services at True Laser, there's a gift card deal, right? So mm -hmm. it's by... Say, $500? Yep, buy a $500 gift card and then you receive a $100 gift card um, and then if you buy a $250 gift card, you receive a $50 gift card. That's great. Mm -hmm. So cool. what a great way to do that and get, either for somebody you love, this is a great gift idea, guys, right. for, for your lady. I think <laughs> a lot of a lot of women want to do this kind of thing, but it is expensive. Mm -hmm. And and that's not going to like get me in the doghouse if I buy hair removal for my She'll wife? She'll love you for it. Okay. <laughs> She'll great. love Good. you for it. Promise. Make note of that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And a great way to save, too. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, I... I I guess the, the, the thing that I'm thinking of right now is, um, you know, people, you know, for me, I guess I don't think of like, oh, where should I get hair removed because, you know, guys are hairy, but where, I mean, it's true. It is true. <laughs> true. Yes, you need it even more. I yes, guess me. I do need Not it you specifically. More, <laughs> what's the most popular area that, that you see people uh, interested in getting hair removed from? Um, Actually, we do everything from oh, head wow, to toe. Okay. So okay. I can't even say that there's a more popular area because we see it all. I mean, yeah. seriously, from the only thing that we cannot do is eyebrows, but we do ear edges, face, men and women. I mean, everything, body, any unwanted hair that has pigment to it, we yeah. can remove. So. And Head How to many? Toe. Yes, head yeah. to toe. That's good to know. I mean, yes. you do have a little hair. Toe oh yeah, hair. we do toes. Yeah. We yeah. Have toes. Yeah. <laughs> People get very upset about their toe yes. hair. I know yes. this. And it's awesome. <laughs> uh, so that's really neat. Let's talk a little bit. You, you've been talking about men and women, and you know we've talked about this before. But how, what's, what typical clients do you see in here? I mean, do you see a lot of men? Do you see a lot of women? What's your Yeah, we client actually, base? we do, we see, I mean, it is definitely more women than mm -hmm. men, but we see um, women, uh, men, teens. Um, we see 
like what's come up a lot lately is transge transgender mm -hmm. um, clients and so they have some requirements of hair removal that need to be done sure, in that yeah. process too so that has become very popular um, sure. and then what's um, cool about that is making them feel comfortable sure, and yeah. you know that they're and then also um, people with PCOS which is polycystic ovarian syndrome um, that's an ongoing problem with women with hair growth then because their hormones are imbalanced and so sure. there are a lot of women and nobody would ever know them walking around with full beards wow. that it is life-changing for them and wow. it's the coolest thing ever and they do have to do ongoing treatments it's not like done sure. Forever. Right. It's more of a maintenance as sure. time goes on, but the improvement is like smooth skin and having to do it a few times a year versus walking around with a full beard. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah. it's a difference in their confidence. I'm oh sure. goodness! I mean, yeah. that yes. would be a tough thing to to have to overcome, but you can do it. That's what's yes, so nice. you yes. can, and it's so it's so cool to be right. able Very to do rewarding. that and to help them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Very absolutely. Good. So there's a variety of different places where you can get procedures like this done. What sets True Laser apart in this area? Um, a few things. I would say our equipment that we use, um, Candela lasers, state of the art. We actually just upgraded all of those to their latest, um, greatest machine. So we're oh, wow. pretty excited about that. The technology, um, yeah. Yes, Important. yes. And so very, very effective. The other thing is we've been in business 17 years now, so lots of experience. We also, I mean, because we specialize in laser hair removal, that's what we do every day, all day long. Mm -hmm. We're like really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A lot of collective experience yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, also just the staff. I mean, just that caring. And when we talked about the sure. different types of clients, mm -hmm. what, um, just how they care and want to make them feel more comfortable while they're here and let them know that they're not alone in what, what they've got going on. So. I think that's yeah. smart. I really like how you mentioned that because I think that's an important t uh, point to hit on is that there are, there are a lot of other places that do laser treatments, mm -hmm. but this is exclusively what you do. Yes. So yeah. to go somewhere where you know they're doing all these different things and sure. they, they just don't see as many clients. You mm -hmm. guys, you guys yeah. see clients all day long for right. this exact thing. So right. that's, I like that you said that. Uh, the other thing really quick before we go, let's talk just a little bit about price. Yes. So there's a great deal, but what's the mm -hmm. price range like or is it really expensive? You know, it's, it's almost as affordable as waxing, but eventually really? it gets less as time goes on that you don't have to do it as often and eventually can become permanent where you're not doing it at all. Wow. There are areas that I don't have to have treated anymore. Um, so it's really cool. The one thing I wanted to mention about that is we have, there's a lot of things out there now all of a sudden laser hair removal is being discounted like 50 to 70% off. And then we're hearing that um, the prices are four times as much and then they're 70% yeah. off. Yeah. So That's we, kind of the trick, isn't it? Yeah. The yeah. Trick. And so we really are going with the everyday low pricing that we sure. are just, you know, like here's that. where we're yeah. at. Doesn't and matter which day you walk in, yes. decide yes. to do it, you're going to get the best price. Yes, right. exactly. I think that's a great philosophy. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for having us, Christy mm -hmm. and Brittany. It's been a pleasure being here, so we appreciate it. Oh, thanks for being here. We also want to thank all of our guests for joining us. We want to thank you for watching. Please join us next time on Wisconsin Family. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day and